Hi everyone, Trisha here with another tutorial using Art Impressions watercolor stamps. For today's project, we'll be learning how to create this vase full of flowers using only four stamps and five markers. Let me show you the products you'll be using today. Today we're going to be using the ornate container from the ornate container set, this little vase right here, this vine from the foliage set too, this flower from the full flower set too, and this flower here from the chest of flowers. <clears throat> we need some watercolor paper, our paintbrush, some water, our acrylic blocks, our palette, and the markers that we're going to use are the 86 African Violet, the 43 Brilliant Yellow, the 15 Olive Green, number 20 magenta, and number 8 violet. <clears throat> Let's jump into it and get started. Let's move that away, get a nice clean piece of watercolor paper. So I have the little pot here and I'm going to ink it up using the number 86 African violet. So what this does is when you do something with African violet, we want the pot to be white. But even if something's white, it doesn't remain white. <clears throat> you, everything has color, shadows. So something that is white, you still need a color. So we're gonna, the purple is actually going to be the shadows, but it's gonna make the pot actually look white. So what we're gonna do is, I didn't ink the top of this stamp because I want these flowers to spill right over and I don't want the line from the top of the vase to be in the picture. So I just ink that up, and now I'm just going to stamp this towards the bottom of the page, like that. Okay? So our, as always, our first step is to pull the color out of the lines. So I'm going to dip my brush, and I'm going to pinch it off, and then I'm just going to start pulling the color out of the lines. Now you want to pull the color from the side, into the middle to create a highlight. We don't want to add too much water because we want to make sure we maintain the integrity of the stamp. So I'm just lightly pulling in the color into the middle of the pot. If you use too much water then it starts to, those lines start to disappear or they don't look very good after there's too much water, if there's too much water. So I'm just, just a little bit here, pulling some of this color right in the middle. Okay, and I think that's about done. I'm also going to pull a little bit of color out of the sides of this, of this little pot just to give it a little bit of a background. It doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit. Just adds a little more interest to the back of the painting. Okay. We're also going to put this on, we're going to put a little shadow underneath it later. <clears throat> All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next step. I'm going to grab um, the little vine right there and I'm going to ink it up with the number 15 olive green. Ink that up pretty good. And I'm going to stamp it outside of this of, of this little pot here. I'm going to turn this turn the paper a little bit so you can see me. And I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five. Try to get as many impressions as you can from this from the stamp before re-inking. So you want to get at least five. Now I'm going to get, turn this around, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do one, two, three. And I'm not pushing, I'm just bouncing my stamp around. I'm not pushing so hard on it. You don't, you really don't need to push too hard. <clears throat> now I'm going to just do a few more right here in the center of this little pot. I really want it to be a spilling out everywhere. All right, I'm going to, I just want to get this down in here a little bit more. I 
just like the way that looks. Now this is your own creation. You can put as many leaves in as you want or as little as you want. It's up to you. It's your art. It's your, it's your vase of flowers. Every time you do it, they're going to come out differently. So I'm just, I just put my brush in water and I just pinched off the water from the end so there's not too much. And I'm going to leave white space. I'm not going to color it in completely. I don't want it green everywhere. I just want to touch these leaves. Because the white space is what's going to make it look like it's 3D and it's coming to life. Okay. So we're just going to touch all of these little guys in here. And we can go outside of the lines, pull it in here with a little color. Just adds more interest. All right, let's add some flowers. So I think I want to, I think I'm going to add the, the purple flowers first. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm actually going to build it up because I want it to be this big full basket or pot full of flowers. So I'm going to grab this, the number eight violet and I'm just going to ink it up. <clears throat> this one I don't necessarily have to get five. I just want to get a couple impressions here. So I'm going to do one, two, three here. And I think I'm going to do a couple on this side of this leaf here. One, two, three. And maybe some right here. Okay. Dip my water and my brush and my water and brush. I'm gonna dip my water and brush. I'm gonna dip my brush in water and pinch it off. And then I'm just gonna to touch. Now I want to make sure I don't smush this all together because I really like the look of this flower, and I want it to maintain its leaves without becoming a big, just a mushy mess. Okay, so let's just touch some of these leaves in here. Such a pretty color. I really like <clears throat> the pinks and yellows and purples all together. You can use a color wheel too if you're not sure what to use for colors and what's going to look good. You, cannot, you can't go wrong if you use the color wheel. I'll try to do a video with, with the color wheel so I can show you how I use that. And I'm just putting a little bit of water on my finger and onto my stamp because I'm going to use yellow. And I want to make sure that my stamp is very, very clean before I use my yellow. Because yellow is such a light color, I don't want it to mix with anything that might be already on my stamp. Okay, so I'm just going to take this little bunch of flowers and I'm going to ink it up with the 43, what is it, brilliant yellow. Okay. And I'm going to put one little guy right here, one, two, three, four, five. Again, <clears throat> those who don't know how to, if you're new here and you haven't watched any of Bonnie's videos, what we're going to do is we're going to stamp it in a circle of five. You don't want to do a huge circle. You want your circle to be kind of tight so that it looks like a flower. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five in a circle, if not more. The, the darks and lights, or what's going to give you the depth that you're looking for. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five here. Okay. Now I'm not going to clean my brush off. I mean, I'm not going to clean my stamp off again. I'm actually going to ink it up with the magenta after I soften the lines. And uh, so I got a little bit of stuff on my paper here. Very easy to get rid of. Just put some, put some water on it. Take a paper towel it right off. All right, so dip your brush in water. You want to pinch it off so you don't have too much water. And then I'm going to soften the lines. I'm going to do the ones on the outside first, the lighter ones, and I'm going to work my way in. And I'm kind of using a circular motion to make sure you're not stabbing, make sure you're just 
you're just touching them with the end of the brush and the brush is kind of if you see my brush here it's on an angle lets the water flow and then this little guy right down here okay now let's ink that ink the same stamp up with the magenta and I'm gonna put one right here going in a circle I'm going to do another one here. Also, you want to try to do, when you're doing flowers, you want to make sure that you're, you're creating odd numbers of flowers. So you either create three, five, seven, nine, because odd numbers are more visually pleasing and add more interest than even numbers. Okay, so let's... Pinch our, pinch our brush again, and then we'll just take and pull the color right out of these little pink flowers. This is my favorite color. Okay. Pretty easy. I hear my dog scratching in the background. <laughs> All right. So now that we have our flowers in there, let's give let's add some more of our foliage. So I'm going to go back to my green, my little vine here, and I'm just going to fill in some of these areas here. So I inked the whole thing, so I'm going to do these on the sides. And I'm going to try to get it in between these two flowers here. See? And you're still trying to get an impression of five. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. And kinda, you wanna vary the length. You wanna kinda get it some out and some in close. Now I'm only going to ink up the top of this one because I wanna try to get some of these leaves into the middle in between some of these flowers. So I wanna be just going to do the middle. So I can make it look a little bit fuller. So these leaves don't look, these flowers don't look like they're just hanging out without any leaves. And don't worry if you go over the flowers. Your flowers, if you look at an arrangement or you look at flowers in the wild, they grow all over the place, so they don't care if they're growing into one another or if they're growing over a flower. That's just natural. That's how that's how how flowers and leaves grow. So don't be afraid to stamp right over them. It just makes them look like they're hidden in the background, which is fine. And if you start you start your project and you don't like the way it's going, you never know what's gonna happen. So just keep going. Keep creating, and you'd be surprised how many times at the end you might actually like what you didn't think you were gonna like in the first place. So don't ever give up in the middle of a project, okay? So that looks pretty good, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dip my, my brush in some water, I'm gonna pinch it off, and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna soften all these lines. Again, making sure to maintain some of this white space. So that's really going to give it a lot of interest and really make it pop. You don't want your paintings to look flat. You want them to look like they're coming out at you. So the more it becomes a blob, the less, the less light comes through, you're not going to like you're not gonna like the result of that. It's not gonna look very good. So just make sure you leave some white space. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna come in and I'm actually just going to take the fine tip of my marker. This is my African violet. And I'm just going to just darken this line here because it kind of looks like it got a little too much water. So I'm just gonna go back in And then what I can do 
is add a little bit of water just to soften it. I don't want to use a lot of water at all. Just want to bring a little bit more color into the middle of this pot. Okay. Usually use a palette, but if you're just trying to darken up lines, you can use the, the fine tip of that marker. Okay. Just some shadows. Now I do have some African Violet here on my palette and I'm just going to dip my brush in the water, pinch it off, get a little bit of this African Violet on my brush and I'm just going to, my light source is coming from this way so I want to make sure I, I get a little bit of a shadow right underneath this pot here. So I'm just going to take a little bit and pull it from the pot right out into the foreground. And that just gives it, makes it look like it's sitting on something and it's not just floating out into Never Never Land. You always want to ground your images. Okay, and that's it. Last thing we have to do is sign and date. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that right here. 2017. And that's, that's it. That's our project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you liked what you see, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have another video for you soon. Have a great day and create something beautiful.